to the Andy Griffith Show Facts and Trivia. Appreciate you being here. Um, subscribers are coming in. Uh, please continue to do so. If you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe. Um, please share these. Uh, and you're doing real good there, too. Please share these on Facebook, uh, Instagram, Twitter, wherever. Just get the word out for me, and I appreciate that. Um, today's episode is, uh, things, uh, some Andy Griffith show facts, uh, that you may or may not know. I'm sure, uh, most will since we are Andy Griffith fans and we are a rare breed. Um, we'll get right into it. Um, in the classic episode in which the businessman Malcolm Tucker Breaks down on the Sabbath in Mayberry, Opie is chastised by Andy for pulling horse hairs from the lapel of his suit and trading them with Johnny Paul Jason for a penny run over by a train. Now, pulling horse hairs out damage the suits. How? According to Andy, it makes the suit become soft. Men traditionally tailored suits have a stiff lining inside the lapels and chest, which help the front and lapels retain their shape and also gives a smooth look over the pectoral muscle. Um, wasn't that interesting? Um, Don Knotts, uh, birth name was Jesse Donald Knotts. Andy Griffith, in interviews, often refers to him as Jesse. Uh, Nurse Peggy was played by Joanna Moore. In real life, she was married to Ryan O'Neill and was the mother of Tatum O'Neill and had actually a very sad life. I'm going to do a a, a video on her at some point. Uh, it's very interesting and very sad life. Um, when Don Knotts left the show, Jerry Van Dyke was considered for the part of the deputy who would have replaced Barney Fife and even appears in the deputy uniform in the fifth season episode. However, Van Dyke chose instead to star in My Mother the Car in 1965 and later said if he had to do it over again, he would have taken the deputy part instead. Hindsight's twenty twenty. Um, when Howard McNear left the show after years of declining health, his departure departure was explained by having Floyd sell the barber shop and move away to be with his daughter. African Americans appear throughout the series, but mostly as extras. Uh, Rockney Tarkington is the only African American actor ever to have a speaking role on the show. And that was an Opie's piano lesson in 1967. Before Aunt B moved in with Andy, he had a housekeeper named Rose. Andy performed her wedding ceremony uh, in uh, the new housekeeper in 1960. Uh, later, Ron Howard would meet up with her again in on the show uh, Happy Days. I thought that was kind of neat. Um, Let's see. Um, the opening credits were expanded slightly during the original network run. After Opie throws the rock into the lake, the camera shot would change to a close-up of the water rippling with the logo of the sponsor product appearing in the middle. That's because uh, Ron Howard didn't have the strength to get the uh, rock into the lake. A um, couple more here. Thelma Lou's last name and occupation were never revealed. The only reason I'm giving you this one is because I've had several people message me asking me about Thelma Lou's occupation. The only thing I ever mentioned was uh, she works in an office, but never mentioned what it was. Um, the calendar in Floyd's Barbershop is always on February. When Andy first introduced Goober sitting on a bench, his name was Goober Beasley. Later on, it became Goober Powell. It was an on-running joke, the Beasley thing, because uh, Beasleys were uh, kinfolk of Andy's, and he did that as uh, a joke towards that. And that's all I got for you today. I appreciate you being here. Have a great, great day. Um, don't forget the uh, trivia question on Facebook. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Uh, please share these on Facebook. Uh, have a great day, and we'll catch you tomorrow. God bless.